Okay, everybody ready to get started? All right, the time is now 5 p.m. on February 5th. And the February 5th, 2024, the Community Development Committee meeting is now called to order. May we have a roll call, please? Chairman Hayes. Present. Alderman Newsom. Alderman Florian. Present. Alderman Donenworth. Here. Alderman Turner. Present. Thank you. Uh, minutes. Can I have a motion and a second for approval of the meeting minutes from the January 2nd, 2024 uh, Community Development Committee meeting? I'll make the motion. Second. First by Alderman Turner, second by Alderman Donaldworth. Roll call, please. Thank you. You're right. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Any opposed? Wonderful. Um, a, is it, right, agenda item number. Got it. Okay. Um, agenda item number two. Can I have a first and a second uh, to open the public hearing? Make so moved. Motion. Second motion. Uh, first by Alderman Florian. Second by Alderman Turner. Um, is this a voice vote, or do we need a roll call? Voice vote. I, Voice. I, you can just declare the you can declare a public hearing open without a vote. Oh, lovely. Okay. You need a vote to close it, but you can just open it. Okay. Um, the public hearing on renewing and extending the moratorium on text amendment applications from private parties pending adoption of the unified development ordinance is now called to order. Are there any members of the audience that wish to address the committee regarding? the public hearing okay there being none are there any questions or comments is this the shortest public hearing that we've oh. ever had <laughs> oh, not, we're not going to get away that easy okay what if nobody has anything to add no i mean i i know from uh our briefing on thursday minus and what's written here before me i understand that we want a moratorium on private parties on citizens uh, requesting any text amendment, text amendment changes um, until the Unified Development Ordinance is published sometime later this year. And my question is, <clears throat> so if a citizen or resident comes to a staff and says, I would like to make a, an amendment, and the staff will say, no, there's a moratorium, and then that resident would come to their alderman and say hey i'd like to make an amendment staff won't let me why don't you do it and then the alderman says staff i'd like to make an amendment and then it would go through so it sounds like having a moratorium on this would be moot and it would add another hurdle for residents to go over in order to get the amendment done they still get it done or get it up for consideration so I don't know that this is going to be of any any value did you folks in the audience hear me okay all right thank you Mike okay thank you Alderman Turner any response or any additional comments or questions would you like me to respond? Sure. Um, so I would just say to that that it is possible that a citizen could come to an alderman and make a request, but there's not a guarantee that the alderman would agree that they wanted to submit that text amendment request. The alderman would have to fill out the application and apply for it, just as the one that's on your agenda tonight, I applied for it as the director of planning and zoning. Um, so somebody would have to sign it. And so if, if you as the alderman for that constituent agreed that that made sense universally to change the code, um, 
because, for clarification or whatever purpose, then yes, you could go forward with it. But I don't think it's a, a done deal or a moot point. Um, it's not automatic that that would happen. Thanks, Noel. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, Director. Any other comments or questions? Okay, can I get a motion in a second to close the public hearing at 5.05? .05? Motion to close. Second. Okay, first by Alderman Turner, second by Alderwoman Florian. Um, roll call, please. You can do voice vote to close it. Ken, I misunderstood the directions. Okay, my apologies. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, public hearing is closed at 5.06. Um, audience time. Members of the audience will have three minutes to address the committee. Are there any members of the audience that wish to address the Community Development Committee? There being none, and there being no old business, we are moving on to new business. Can I have a first and a second for agenda item A? First. Second. All right, first by Alderman Donaworth, second by Alderman Turner. Agenda item A is a ordinance renewing and extending a moratorium on text amendment applications from private parties pending adoption of the unified development ordinance. Are there any questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Donenworth? Aye. Chairman Hayes? Aye. Motion passes. Agenda item B, can I have a first and a second for item B? First. Second. First by Alderman Donenworth, second by Alderman Turner. Agenda item B is an ordinance approving amendments to the historic preservation ordinance. Are there any questions? No questions, a roll call please. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Donenworth? Aye. Chairman Hayes? Aye. We have a first and second for agenda item C. First. First by Alderman Turner. Second. Second by Alderwoman Florian. Agenda item C is an ordinance approving zoning calendar number 2736, a text amendment to section 4.18 of the zoning ordinance regarding the co-location of cannabis business establishments to allow the co-location of a recreational cannabis craft grower and a recreational cannabis processing organization in the I-1 restricted industrial and I-2 general industrial districts. Are there any questions? There being no questions, roll call please. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Donenworth? Aye. Chairman Hayes. Aye. Agenda item D, can I have a first and a second? First. Second. First by Alderman Donaworth, second by Alderman Turner. Agenda item D is an ordinance approving zoning calendar number 2737 through calendars, excuse me, number 2737 through 2740, granting variances and conditional use permits for the establishment and operation of a recreational cannabis craft grower facility and a recreational cannabis processing facility at 345 North Lakewood Avenue. Are there any questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Donenworth? Aye. Chairman Hayes? Aye. Agenda item E, could I have a first and a second? First. Second. All right, first from Alderwoman Florian, second from Alderman Donaldworth. Agenda item E is an ordinance creating a Class A tavern liquor license and granting associated video gaming for Casey's Corner LLC located at 1540 North Green Bay Road. Are there any questions? I believe the, the petitioner is here, um, if anybody has any questions. No. Okay, roll call, please. Alderman Florian? Aye. Alderman Turner? Aye. Alderman Donenworth? Aye. Chairman Hayes? Aye. That is it for new business reports and communications and information there being none. Can I get a motion to adjourn at 509? Motion to adjourn. Second. First by Alderman Turner, second by Alderwoman Florian. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? We are adjourned at 510. Thank you. <laughs>